Chris Richter back again from ricochet.com.au. I'm running a series called Did You Know? And as part of this, one of the things that you may not know that you can do is that you can bulk enroll students in multiple courses at the same time using a spreadsheet. This is quite convenient, really, really useful to you. You may have a whole stack of courses that you need students to be enrolled in. And to make it much easier for you, you can just grab that big list of students, drop them all into a spreadsheet, uh, load that into Moodle, decide which courses you want them to go in as well, load that into Moodle and it will go on, uh, populate all of those for you and make sure that they are enrolled in the courses and let you know if there's any issues. So let's jump in and have a look at how all of that actually works. You do have to have the right permissions to be able to do this first of all. So I am a site admin on this one. So I'm showing you what you can access from a site admin point of view. But if you're a manager, you may have access to this as well. We can upload or bulk upload course enrollments. So let's jump in site administration. We're going into and we're going into our users. And the part we're looking for is down here where it says upload users. All we have here is an upload user Dropbox where you can basically drop a file in or choose a file and it has to be a CSV file and it has to be formatted in a certain way. I'm going to show you what that CSV file looks like. There is an example of the CSV here. If I grab that, download that and open that CSV for you. I'm on a Mac so by default it's going to open up in numbers but that's okay. And what it shows you here is all you need to have is the students a username created for the student first name, last name, and email address. That's just to create new users. So that's to upload new users to the system, but not enroll them in the courses at the same time. So I'm going to show you how that works. We do need to have the fields along the top all correct. If they're not correct, then it won't work. So let me show you my custom one that I created that allows me to enroll in courses as well. Let's close that, jump to our new one. So for this one, we've got the same thing. We still have the field username, first name, last name, email address. Then I have this, course one, roll one, course two, roll two, course three, roll three. And I can keep that going on as many courses as I would like just by adding the numbers after course and roll. I've already put in teacher beside the role because in this case, I wanted each of these to be teachers, but you are more likely going to want to enroll students. So I was doing bulk enrolling for teachers when I did this. Let's make them student instead. You have teacher, non-editing teacher, student, and manager are the default roles. You may have created your own, in which case you need to know what the short name is for those roles. I'm using student. Let's say I have a new student and I can put in any username and it depends on how you've set up your platform as to what usernames you actually want to use or the format of those usernames and how you do it. It could be an email address or might not be. I'm going to put in a new student. I'll just call this person student number five because I don't think I have student five. Their first name is Stu, last name is Dent, number five. Put in there just so we know that this is student number five as opposed to student number one, two, three, and four. So you would put in obviously the username that you've decided that, that students use. And then we need an email address as well. We'll call this student five at ricochet.com.au. Put that in. Course, where do we get the name for this course? I'll show you. Let's jump back to our Moodle LMS. Let's go into my courses. And I would like them to access the demonstration self and roll course. This one here. So if I go into that course, and it is self and roll, but we can still enroll them. All I need to use is the short name for the course. So if I grab that short name, demo self and roll, Go back to my spreadsheet and I put that in as the first one. So the this student will be automatically enrolled in this as a student. So the role will be student. For the next one, I'm going to enroll them in another course, which is the example course one. So let's grab that. Go into settings and use the short uh, course short name. Jump back to our spreadsheet and put in the short name. And I'll go to my last course, go to settings and grab the short name again, PC1 demo. Back to our spreadsheet. And that's all I needed. Now the last thing I need to do is make sure that when I save it, I save it as a CSV file. So when I go file, 
and save. I just need to make sure if I go save as. File and save as, I'm saving it as a CSV file, .csv, which is comma separated values, and that's all we need to do. So I'll save that and replace. And that's all I need to do. Let's jump back to our course. Go back into administration where our upload is. I need to grab that file and drop it into here to upload this to this particular server. So I'm grabbing my demo bulk and roll CSV. I leave all the other settings because it's a CSV, it's comma separated, so all of that's fine. I select upload user. And what it comes up with is a preview showing me the username is student5, their first name, last name, email, the courses that I'm going to enroll them in, which is all good. I just need to make a few setting changes here. Now, the upload type, this is asking me, what do you want to do when you upload this bulk enrollment? I'm going to add new only, skip existing. So if this student already exists, and what it does is it looks for the username, it looks for the email address to compare them. But if that student already exists, it just says ignore the rest of that. But I probably want to do add new and update existing users. So if this student does exist, I still want them to be enrolled in these courses if they're not enrolled. So that's why you use add new and update existing. It also has here create a password if needed and send via email, which is what you leave it on by default. And this one here just talks about whether existing users details, uh, what happens to those existing using users details if this information is slightly different. So if the username matches and the email matches, which is what it looks for, but their first and last name is different, do you want to update the first and last name to match? At this case, we'll just say no for that. That's all I need to change, nothing else. I can just select upload user. What it tells me here is what it's actually done. So it's telling me that a password's been generated for this new user. And I actually put student number four in there, that's okay. Should have been number five. Student number five. If I check that email, the email address for student four, it will I'm still have that email in there, so that's all cool. Now what it did is it said that it enrolled in this course and this course and this course for me. One user was created, so one new user. No errors, which is the main thing we need to check for here. Other than that, it's all done. So that was fairly quick. That could have had multiple users listed in there. So if I went back to my spreadsheet and put in here student number six and put in their details or you know whatever the usernames are for my students, filled all of that in, just copied each of this, these down so I can enroll them all in the same courses if I want to. If I need to, then that's all I need to do. So nice and simple. I can select continue. Now if I go into these courses, so if I go to this course here, to participants, example course one, you can see our new student, student number five with the email address of student four, so we definitely know it's the right one, has been added with the role a student. Go back into our next course, check the same thing. Student five is enrolled with student four email address uh, as a student in there as well. So how clever is that? How simple is that? I hope that's been useful. Not sure if you knew how to do that, but that's the process. My name is Chris Richter. Check out ricochet.com.au and also in the comments down below or in the description for this video, have a look at some of the courses that I have on how to use the Moodle LMS and lots of other things there as well. I'll talk to you soon. Feel free to message me if you need to. Happy to help out.